Hello everyone, and welcome back to Voids 10, the show where I teach you how to build cool Minecraft builds in 10 minutes or less. And today we're going to be working on this big old medieval watchtower. But before we get started, the watchtower, including the roof, is 24 blocks tall by 11 blocks wide and 11 blocks deep. And the base plate is 13 blocks by 13 blocks, including the wall. And here's your materials list for everything you're going to need in this build. So starting off building here, you're going to build a 7 by 7 square out of stone and then raise it up so that it's a total of 10 blocks tall. All right, so we've got a big box here. And as you can see, what we've done with the texturing is at the base here, we've just got some cobblestone and mossy cobblestone. But really, the important thing here is that your corners are a lot of stone bricks. I and mean, actually, what we can do is break this up a bit here. Uh, but yeah, you want your your corners to be mostly stone bricks and then have the middle of the walls be a lot of stone to look like the corners are a lot more fortified. And then next, what we're going to do here, you can actually just kind of copy the texturing you've already done, is we're going to take our stone stairs, knock out these two blocks right here, place in our door and a polished andesite right above it to look like, again, it's a little bit more fortified right there. And next, what we're going to do is knock out these two blocks here on all sides of the building, two blocks down from the top of this box, and then place an upside down stair and a right side up stair facing away from this center block here to look like little arrow slits. And there, that's actually the bottom layer of this thing done. And we'll add in leaves and things later. But next, starting on layer two, what you're going to do is starting on the corners here, you're going to add alternating spruce stairs going all the way around the building and then filling in all the gaps, including the corners with spruce trap doors. And then next, in all the corners, we're gonna go up five blocks with our oak logs and then place horizontal logs on the bottom and top blocks of your logs. So you should have something that looks like this where these top blocks here are a nine by nine square. And so now we're gonna come in here texturing these walls as we go with our strip spruce logs and spruce planks, making sure to leave spaces for our windows. And now for our windows here, there's a neat little trick you can do where you build out like this, place trap doors on the side of those blocks, get rid of those blocks, close the trap doors, and it creates a neat little shutter. And then you just mirror that on the other side. So place your trap doors, close them, and there, now you have open shutters. And now we're just going to go around all the walls of the tower, adding in window shutters. And if you want to, you can also add in window shutters on either side of the window. It obviously won't work, but it still looks cool. But I prefer the look of just having one shutter per window. And one thing you can do with your floor in here, if you're wanting this to be more of a functional tower, is build a little step up here with a slab so you can get higher up on the window and fire at targets that are closer to the tower. But now, moving on to a roof, we're going to build up four layers with our cobble deep slate slabs, knocking out the corners on the first layer just to round it off a bit more. But now, in this little 3x3 hole at the top here, what we're going to do is build up with logs in all the corners, then texture in some of the walls with our stripped spruce and spruce planks, extend these logs up by one, and then add in some spruce stairs as little windows. Because I wouldn't imagine there to be many arches up here, so these are probably more windows for a bell tower than arrow slits. And then you're going to build a ring of cobble deep slate blocks up here and then surround that in cobble deep slate slabs, making sure to leave out the corners. And then build this little plus shape out of cobble deep slate and fill in the corners with cobble deep slate walls. And then add cobble deep slate walls on top of all the full blocks on that plus shape. And then build two blocks up with cobble deep slate and add a wall to the top. And there, that creates a nice little compact pointy tower without using a single stair in the entire thing. And now, as always, as a bit of detailing, we can come in here with our leaves and just, I like to use a combination of birch and oak for this style here, and then maybe add in a few hay bales as well. And alternatively, what you can do here is just extend your staircase like this so you can make room for more leaves right here if you really, really like leaves. And then finally, for the interior, it's just gonna be super simple. What you're gonna do is just make a floor out of slabs in here and then build a big oak pillar running up to the top of your ceiling in here. And then we're just gonna build a big old spiral staircase wrapping around this pillar here and then you can also just have a floor in here for these bottom window slits and there you go your big old medieval watchtower is complete and this is a bit more of a realistic sort of rustic design less fantasy inspired there are some fantasy elements in here but most of it would be achievable in real life. I mean, in that case, the interior would also probably have to be a bit less physics defying because right now this one pillar probably isn't holding up this entire roof. But this one's just a bit less whimsical than most of my builds and a bit more grounded in reality. And next, we're gonna look at some cool ways you can implement this tower into your worlds using the Terralith mod. Anyways, folks, I hope you all found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please make sure to like the video and subscribe as it does help out the channel a bunch. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.